Hello S2 and welcome to your next lesson in the morning series topic on crime. Today we're looking at knife crime. So in your jotter if you want to take a new heading for today which is why do teens get involved with knife crime and what are the consequences. If you're doing this on a word document if you want to just type this up. So why do teens get involved with knife crime and what are the consequences. So our starter activity for this lesson. What you have here is Kyle. So Kyle's older brother Dante has asked him to keep a mystery wrapped up object in his school bag for the day, just so it's out of the way while things cool down. Dante says Kyle will be massively helping out his gun by doing this and will gain respect. Okay, so that's the situation we have here. So here are your questions. You need to try and start with challenge. So what could this object be? What questions would you ask? Then more challenge if you want to move on to that. Why do you think Dante wants Kyle to do this? A mega challenge, analyse what Dante could mean by while things cool down. So that's your starter activity. So you want to pause the video at this point, make sure you attempt the challenge question, and then if you want to from there, you can then try more challenging and mega challenge. Okay, so what are we learning today? So today we are looking at why you in particular get involved in knife crime and the consequences of this. So by the end of the lesson, this is the two main aims that you're aiming to achieve. So firstly, describe why young people become involved in knife crime and explain the consequences of knife crime. Now, what we have here is some statistics to show us the extent of knife crime in Scotland. Now, the Scottish Sun, which is a newspaper, Scottish Sun Sunday, they did an investigation which found that nationwide defences have soared by more than 25% since 2014 in terms of knife crime. So this goes up to 2018. But you can see here the division, so that's the different police divisions across Scotland. So we would come under number 12, Tayside, and you can see the 2014 figures the amount of knife crime up to 2018 so you see how much it has increased now in particular the area most affected by knife crime as you see there is number seven greater glasgow then that is closely followed by lanarkshire and then edinburgh tayside you'll see there has risen from 2014 103 offenses up to 2018 164 offenses so on the whole there's been increases across scotland Across the UK, we can also see an increase in the amount of total knife crime offences taking place. So you, this is statistics for England and Wales. So the first graph on the left-hand side says total knife offences in England and Wales, so offences involving a knife or sharp instrument. So you see from 2011, we had around about 30,000. Up to 2019, you've got well over 40,000 there. And there on the right-hand side, you see a record number were killed with a knife or a sharp object. So knife crime being one of the most common ways that people were actually killed as well. Also here's a headline from BBC News which says knife crime fatal stabbings at highest level since records began in 1946. So knife crime is clearly becoming a massive massive issue in society today. Now what I want you to think about firstly is why do young people get involved in knife crime? So I want you to try and list as many reasons in your jotter as you can. So you want to pause the video at this point and have a think about why do you think young people in particular might get involved in knife crime. Now this graph here shows you hospital admissions for knife assaults. So we have aged 19 and over, aged 18 and under. You see obviously it is most commonly people aged 19 and over that are involved in knife crime. However, there are a large portion of 18 and under as well. So reasons young people get involved in knife crime. So some of the points you could have had. So peer pressure, if they're pressured by their peers to be involved to carry a knife and get involved. If they're part of a gang, so part of gang culture and carrying a knife. Maybe they're trying to earn some money, they might be committing a robbery, so they'll use a knife to try and commit that robbery. Revenge, so knife crime quite commonly has been involved in revenge, and that's been closely linked to gang uh, violence as well. And protection, so some people may carry a knife to protect themselves, but this then leads them to get involved in knife crime as well. Now this is a case study of Yusuf. So, Yusuf was interviewed by... BBC Radio 1 who were carrying an investigation into knife crime and he said this if you don't prove yourself you're going to get stepped on you can't be a waste man Yus has been in a gang since he was 15 he wears a stab vest when he leaves the flat he shares with his mum and carries a knife in his boxers because he fears he'll be killed if he can't defend himself I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by 6 he says borrowing a Roddy Rick lyric to make his point now homelessness and domestic abuse feature heavily in Yusuf's past and he reckons there's an 80-20 chance his future will involve prison. Now he's now 17, so the 17 year old is one of London's most notorious gang members and he's been to Radio 1 Newsbeat in a London youth hub. 
sitting on a white plastic chair beside his youth worker, Yusuf reels off some of the crimes he's been accused of, carrying acid, attempted murder, arming himself with a knife. So this is a case study of Yusuf. So as you can see there, he's been in a gang since he was 15. He's now 17 years old. And he's saying that he also has a stab vest and he carries a knife to defend himself. He's also said there he thinks there's an 80-20 chance he'll be involved uh, or prison will be involved in his life in the future. Also, you can see there he mentions homelessness, domestic abuse. So if you think back to a few lessons ago and we discussed why do people get involved in crime and join gangs, one of the things we discussed was obviously ACEs. So homelessness and domestic abuse would be part of an adverse childhood experience. That would be an ACE that Yusuf has experienced. Now, what consequences, what are thinking about next, what consequences can knife crime have? Now, this image here was again taken from BBC News, so this says 100 people have been fatally stabbed in the UK so far this year. So this was from 2019, so this was um, the people who had been stabbed at the start of 2019. And that just shows you the variety of people, ages, uh, genders that have been stabbed there. Now, this image here shows in a bit more detail. You can see our first 100 fatal stabbings in the UK 2019, so victims are mainly young and male. So you can see in the blue, that's a female victim. So we had 17 female victims and 83 male victims. Now the youngest was Jaden Moody. He was the youngest victim at 14 years old that was killed due to knife crime. The oldest was 80 year old Barbara Haywood. She was the oldest victim. But you could see there in the red dots is predominantly male and predominantly younger, usually 10 to 19 or 20 to 29 uh, age range. So that just shows you again the consequence of knife crime in terms of people being killed. And that was just the first 100 fatal stabs in the UK in 2019. There was also a lot more. Now, how are the police actually tackling knife crime? Now, these two graphs here show you what the police are trying to do, maybe the challenge that they're facing. Now, on the right-hand side, this says what has happened to stop and searches. Now, stop and searches is one of the most common ways that the police were trying to tackle knife crime. So they would stop people and search them to see if they were carrying knives. So you can see here from 2009-10 down to 2017-18, the number of stop and search in England and Wales has actually gone down significantly, the amount of people being stopped and searched. You'd also see on the left hand side the graph which shows you that police officer numbers have actually decreased from 2010 to 2018. So if there's less police and there's more knife crime taking place, then obviously that's going to make it difficult to tackle knife crime. As I mentioned, one of the most common ways to try and tackle knife crime is stop and search. So the police stop suspect suspects in the street and search them to see if they're carrying knives. Now this has also been very controversial because a lot of people feel that certain um, ethnic groups or age groups are unfairly targeted by the stop and search method. But this is most commonly used in places like London where knife crime uh, is very, very high. Okay, so your next main task, what you're going to think about is what do you think should be done to lower the amount of knife crime taking place? Now, on the right hand side here, you have a Scottish MSP Humza Yusuf. Now Humza Yusuf is an MSP and he is the Cabinet Secretary for Justice so he's in charge of making decisions in terms of how uh, the Scottish Government looks to tackle crime. So you're looking here to write a letter to Mr Yusuf about what you think should be done to lower the amount of knife crime taking place. So I've started off the letter for you so it says here, Dear Mr Yusuf, I'm writing to you to give you some ideas on how to lower the amount of knife crime taking place in Scotland. I think that and try and give you an opinion. So how do you think knife crime should be tackled in Scotland? What sort of things do you think should be done? Okay, so over to you. So what you're looking to upload via Teams from this lesson is your start activity answers on the situation of uh, Kyle and Dante. Number two, why do people get involved in knife crime? So try and list some reasons why they get involved. The consequences of knife crime. So what sort of consequences can knife crime have? We also discussed people being killed, but think about what other consequences it can have. And your ideas on how to tackle knife crime. So what you think should be done. If you have any questions at all about anything discussed in this lesson, then just let your class teacher know. Thank you very much.